Hey, what's up Aquamigos? How are you guys doing today? In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a fish trap out of a water bottle like this one that I have right here. And I just want to give a quick shout out to Vertigo117 for giving me the idea for this video. Thank you so much. And these are the materials you're going to need right here. Here I have just a regular standard water bottle and I took the label off of it. I have some thread or you can also use fishing line. Fishing line would probably be better than thread. This is one of those things that you use to eat corn in the cob. I'm going to use this to poke holes in the bottle. And the reason that I'm making a fish trap is because I have my 15 gallon tank right here and I'm trying to get all the fish out of this tank and put them into my 20 gallon tank. I was able to get most of the fish with a net but there are still quite a few fish in there that I'm just not able to catch they're just very difficult to catch so that's why I made this fish trap and we're going to start by just cutting the top part of the bottle off we're going to take the cap off we're going to put it upside down and stick it back inside the bottle so that it makes kind of like a funnel like that and then what we're going to do is we're going to use some stones to weigh the bottle down we're also going to poke holes in the bottle with this thing right here. What I did with the thread is I doubled up the thread and tied it around it so that I can easily pull it out of the tank once there are fish in it. So I'll show you guys how to do that right now. So there we go guys, this is what we ended up with so far. And the idea behind it is that, you know, you'll put food in here and then the fish will try to get the food and they'll swim through the top right here, which is kind of like a funnel. And once they are inside, it'll be kind of hard for them to find their way out. And that's how this thing is supposed to work. So the next thing you wanna do is just get your thread or your fishing line, whatever you're using, tie it around. I'll go ahead and switch over to the one that I already did so I don't have to do that again. So there we go guys. As you can see, the thread is just tied around the bottle. And next, I'm just going to add a couple stones to help weigh it down. Then I'll go ahead and put some fish food in there and we'll sink it into the tank and we'll wait for some fish to swim in. You can already tell that a bunch of the fry want to try to get at the food that's inside the bottle. So we're just gonna wait a few minutes and see if they make it in. Look, we got a couple that are already almost inside and it's literally just been a few seconds. Ooh, there's already one inside. Ooh, another one just went in. This is awesome, <laughs> they're already going inside. Ooh, we're gonna end up with a bunch. This is great. As soon as I can empty out this tank, I can move my mosaic guppies in here, which are currently living inside the indoor guppy pond. Okay guys, so it's been five minutes. Let's see how many fish we got. We got mostly a bunch of smaller fry, which is awesome because there are a ton of fry in this tank that I would not be able to catch with a net. So that's really cool. So check it out guys, I got quite a few uh, fry from using this method and soon enough, if I do this enough times, I'll totally clear out this tank and I can get some of my other fish in here. And I'm just doing it one more time really quick just to get some more.
and this will be their new home for the time being. All right guys, so that's how you can make your own DIY fish trap out of a plastic water bottle. And check this out guys, I wanna show you guys one more thing. Check this out guys, I got a brand new pool pond. It's a Intex pool pond. It's almost the same size as the one that I have right now. It's actually just like half a foot shorter, but it's almost the exact same size. And check this out guys. So yeah, check it out guys, it's raining outside so I have this um, umbrella. So this is my existing pool pond and it's been raining a lot recently and it's literally like overflowing in that back corner over there but uh pretty much what i got that new pool pond for is it's going to go right here in this area it's gonna go right here and what i'm going to do eventually is transfer everything from that one into the new pool pond and then over here i'm going to build a real like in-ground pond so the new pool pond is just like kind of a temporary thing until i get the in-ground pond built So I'm pretty excited for all that. Make sure that you stay tuned and are subscribed so you don't miss any of these videos. And really quick, I have three shout outs for the Aquamigos. I have a shout out for Hope Stubbs, a shout out for Love My Fins and Feathers, and a shout out for Joshua Santos. Thank you guys so much for being Aquamigos. I really do appreciate the support. If any of you would like a shout out in my next fish video, I post new fish videos every Friday. All you have to do is go down to the comments below and comment, I am an Aquamigo. And this video is going up on New Year's Eve, so I wish all of you guys a happy new year and all the best in 2022. I have a lot of exciting content coming in 2022. If you guys did like this video or if it helped you out, make sure to go down there and hit that like button. That would help me out so much. And if you would like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also that bell notifications button. If you would like to follow me on Instagram, I'll put my handle right here. It's at YT underscore Tobias. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.